All right, a video review of today's movie. I uh, waited all weekend to go and see Jason Statham kill James Franco. I mean, I was pretty much expecting that. That's what the movie is being sold as. Jason Statham is a badass. James Franco is a bad man. And ultimately, you know, little girls are involved. They get kidnapped. Animals that vanish. Toys get destroyed. You just know that there's got to be some justice in the world out there and that Jason Statham is going to whip it out and inflict it on uh, the bad guy. Look, this movie is exactly what you think it is. There aren't any surprises. Uh, there, you know, the plot plays out exactly as you expect it to. There are good guys and bad guys and ass kicking that goes on in the whole course of the movie. Now, it's pretty effective. There's a shootout at the beginning uh, that is a little phrenic and a little car chase and another shootout. Shootout's quite violent. That sets up our uh, DEA agent who's undercover and uh, puts him kind of underground so he's going to be able to testify later on. And we discover him in a small town down in Louisiana. It's not exactly hiding out, but definitely keeping a low profile. Inadvertently, uh, he gets exposed to uh, some local drug dealers who then think that they're going to go big time by turning him over to the gang that he just uh, took out with uh, in that opening scene. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's uh, drug dealers and uh, bad guys and Jason Statham. Um, no surprises whatsoever. Kate Bosworth was pretty good playing a tweaking... Uh, sister of James Franco's character. Uh, in the trailers you get the impression that maybe she's the uh, wife and that James Franco's the husband, but it actually turns out that he is her brother and uh, she goes to him for some assistance. Um, the kids set up a little bit of the conflict. Uh, incidentally, it turns out that they aren't particularly important to the story. The little girl becomes, of course, an object to be rescued during the film. Um, Let's see. Winona Ryder shows up much later in the film than I was expecting. She was second billed, I think, in the movie. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting when uh, she plays James Franco's love interest partner in the film. And I thought it was kind of interesting watching James Franco and Winona Ryder have violent standing up sex uh, in the movie over a car. These are two Academy Award nominees in this dumb action film going through the most you know, vile kind of acting that you can do without taking your clothes off. And, you know, they were fine. Uh, it's, you know, James Franco is slumming it here, and uh, he does a pretty good job selling creepy. I don't think that that's hard to believe. Um, Clancy Brown shows up as the local sheriff, and uh, you're not quite sure what his position in the story is. Maybe he's a good guy, maybe he's a bad guy, uh, but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, you know, it's always nice to see him show up in a movie. Um, you know, I, I was thankful that the small animal wasn't injured. Shh. I don't want to be giving anything away, but the, you know, as usual, uh, in pursuit of the animal, the uh, good guy ends up creating more problems for themselves than they should have had. You know, Ripley should have left Jones on the ship, and Jason Statham should have left Luther uh, to escape uh, on his own. The truth of the matter is that uh, it just justifies more ass-whipping, and, uh, you know, good fight sequences. Um, you know, there's a clever setup of an uh, explosion, a booby trap toward the end of the film. <sighs> I will have to say, though, spoiler alert, James Franco doesn't die. And so that was a little bit disappointing. It turns out that he's actually not the biggest badass in the film. He's just a creepy guy who's looking to move up. He, of course, gets connected with the other gang, and they are the ones who are the uh, bad guys that are most violent. So um, you know, Statham has to take care of them, and then he has to go after uh, James Franco. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in seeing this movie because of the trailers, you, you know exactly what you're getting. You'll probably have a good time. Uh, I enjoyed myself Sunday morning, popcorn, coke, and Jason Statham beating up people. Uh, I don't know how you beat that. You know, this is uh, kind of a perfunctory review because it's a very perfunctory film. However, I did like the fact that it was written by Sylvester Stallone. He knows how to write an action film. 
It wasn't quite as preposterous as some of those other films that I've seen him do. Uh, Cobra was ridiculous, and Bullet to the Head is a little bit over the top. This is much more conventional in nature, and also put together a little bit more effectively. Uh, the director, I think it's uh, Gary Felder, um, he's been directing action films for 15 or 20 years now. He, he does a fine job. There's nothing uh, spectacular about it. It hits all of the right notes and makes everything go boom at the right time. Um, I was satisfied. You know, I finished my popcorn, drank my Coke, uh, enjoyed the movie, and if you have any interest in seeing Jason Statham beat up a whole bunch of guys, then you should go see this movie. If you don't give a damn about that, wait for something good to come out. You know, this is just crap that's entertaining. Alright, you guys have a good weekend. Bye.